starting out as a Benedictine monastic brewery, they apparently claim to make the best hells in the world. It's beer o'clock, and from Bavaria, we have a bottle of the Turgenzeer Hell coming in at 4.8% ABV. Now, some people will lead you to believe that this is the best hells in the world. And we're here to find out because I still think Augustina Brow make the best hells in the world. So this will be a little bit interesting. So a little bit about the brewery. It actually started as a monastic brewery in 16... 75 I do believe yeah 1675 and it's just gone from there now the funny thing is about this monastic brewery is the monks don't actually drink the beer that they produce um, they also produce wine and the monks seem to rather than have a table beer with their meal or, or like, like a lot of monasteries do that produce beer they have a wine instead so that's a little bit interesting um fact about this 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 um this brewery so without further ado let's crack it open let's get it in a glass i've got the old bavarian beer and oktoberfest glass beer and oktoberfest museum glass uh, a very good place to, to visit if you're ever in munich it's the first time i've ever had this beer believe it or not There we go. Fantastic. Right. First impressions. Well, it's that lovely golden colour, isn't it? Clear golden colour with a good three finger white tight foam head. Everything you expect to see from Hells. Look at the carbonation. What you've got to realise is this is a non nucleated glass. You know, I go on about this quite a bit, and it goes to show how in England we have to have these nucleated glasses to make our lager fizzy it's all in the brewing look at that it's like Niagara Falls in that glass right let's get the aromas oh yeah it smells typical of a German Hells oh There's malts, there's breadiness, straw, some pepper there. Fresh hay, fresh grassy fields, um, everything you expect a hell's to smell really. So look, let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. Oh yeah, that hits the spot. It's crisp. It's dry. And then it gets sweet at the back end. That's the malt. At the back end, really give this a sweetness. I get crisp, dry, then you get this grassy hit and this grassiness you're actually getting notes of lemon. And then you're getting this malt at the back end which adds a bit of sweetness. 
you're not getting the bitterness at the back end you sort of more get the the dry bitterness at the beginning now I now get the bitterness now now I'm getting the grassiness and the lemons and now the malts are kicking in and the whole of my mouth has just gone sweet and malty it's putting saliva in my mouth um, the carbonation is still dancing around my tongue this is a great hell's This is not too shabby, this is refreshing, this is... I can see why people think this is the best in the world. I really, really can. Is it the best for me? It's in my top five hells. It's definitely in my top five. I can't, I really so I can't say it's my number one. I still think Augustina Brow is the best. Um, this is definitely in my top five. It's, it's certainly different. I think what it is, I like a Hell's and I like a Pilsner to have that, that dry finish that makes you want to have another sip. Because I'm one of these type of people that when I'm drinking this sort of beer, I want to drink it and have another one. I want a sesh, you know what I mean? This this is very very good but I'm going to drink this slower than an Augustina Brown definitely will drink this slower which means I'm not on a sesh but <laughs> if I was having an Augustina Brown at lunchtime with a meal and I'm driving I'd want to have another one. Whereas this one here, I could have with a meal, and I'm driving, and it doesn't put me in the mood for a session. This is probably a fantastic drink one to have, if you can find it in a brow house, to have lunchtime. Because if you you get one you get like an Augustina brown you start you start on that at lunchtime having some lunch and have an Augustina brown you just want to smash them back you know hot day out in a beer garden out in Germany you just want to smash the Augustina brown back because it's just got that thing at the end of the, the the end it's got that dryness that bitterness like a pilsner that, that, that wants you to take more get more get more whereas this one here. after every sip it doesn't leave you with that dryness in your mouth that you keep having that sip to try and get the sweetness back it's psychological that's what it is it's um if you look at anyone who even a wine drinker someone who drinks a dry white wine will drink it faster than someone who drinks a medium white wine because the dryness makes you want to keep sipping it you know if you know what i mean same as gin, a dry gin, a real dry gin, or you'll drink more of that than a than another drink gin. So a great beer, a great beer to have with food of a lunchtime, where you don't want to sort of get on it during the day. But 
for me on a session in a, in a, in a Bavarian bar um, where you want to like ram a few down your throat then I'm not going to pick this beer but as a lunchtime uh, drink to have with a meal I would pick this hands down so it's the only way I can sort of describe it it's you know I don't know about you but I, I actually my when I'm when I'm out in sort of Belgium, Holland, Germany, or even in England, right? My lunchtime habits of drinking are totally different to my evening habits. Um, you know, I look perhaps in Germany on a hot day. I sometimes like a Weizen. Now a Weizen is something I'm not going to go and have a session with in the evening. Um, in sort of Belgium during the day I might I might have a triple or a, a strong blonde. And then of an evening I'll sort of mix it up a bit, you know, it's... It's mad how, you know, I think... I think the beer can be very mood orientated as well. But no, this is, to me, this is perfect to sort of sit in a beer garden have a couple of couple of couple of bottles or a couple of five half liters of it on a hot day where you don't want to go and go for a session but you want to have a beer. Fantastic, um, great beer in the top five, but not number one um, as, a, as a hell. So you know, um, Augustina Brow still number one. This one's in the top five. Um, a great beer look I know you can get this on beer hawk I know you can get this on beers of Europe it's not expensive so look, go on their websites get yourself a bottle um, see what you think leave a comment below give us a big thumbs up if you like the review hit that little bell get notified every time I bring out a new one and of course subscribe to the channel and like I always say beer is the answer but I cannot remember the question thank you for watching good night TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.